All right, Shalom, first and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harachachudash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, you know, uh, for you men and women out there that, that have changed your life towards righteousness, that you may earn your salvation from the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, okay, that He will, Lord willing, the, the Heavenly Father's Son, who, who you literally call Jesus Christ, his name is Jehoshai, that he that he speak up for you and defend you, you know, before his before the Heavenly Father in that day. Okay? Now this is gonna be a sort of a, a, a righteous rant. You know, I'm on the road, I can't pull any precepts because I'm driving. And, you know, safety first and all of that. But the spirit is kinda on me after I watch this video. Alright? And and in this video you have to understand what's happening and what's going to happen. Okay, as the brother said, his woman, if you've seen the video, Lord, why don't I remember to uh, put the description, uh, put the uh, put the link in the description. Okay, but but to, to, to say it plainly, and to say what the name of the video is, the Lord is not playing. Okay, the Lord is not playing. You know, a lot of our people are playing and want to be all in mirth and all of this. The Lord ain't playing, man. Okay, now I don't have a a dream or nothing like that or you know or, or a situation like with, with a spirit or a demon and I don't have nothing like that right now but I want to bring in, into 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 focus the gravity of the things that, that's coming now Lord willing I'll be able to sit down sometime during the week and uh and do something more you know go actually go into the scriptures about this you know uh, about these top these things I'm bringing up to show actually in the scriptures that this is happening that this is going to go down, but you got to understand what's coming, okay? We already see the famine that, that is talked about in second address, okay? We see that the famine's coming. You know, them ships sitting off on the coast, we already know that that's going to be an issue, okay? We already know that great death is coming. Matthew 24, okay? I'm on, uh, Luke, Luke 21, there's plenty of chapters about this stuff. Plenty of situations of this going on, okay? We know that, that this is coming. We know in, in the book of Lamentations it said it'd be better better are they that, that die of, of the sword than they that die of hunger. So we know that people are going to be starving to death, man. We know people are going to be invading one another and killing each other. I'm, I'm quoting from all them chapters, okay? This is the second chapter, the 15th chapter. People are going to be like madmen sparing none. The 16th chapter, these troops... Okay, they're going to run in people's house and take them out and send them off to FEMA camps and so on and so forth. Okay? You think a mandate in, 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 in this in this, uh, in this dart, if you will, this potion, this jungle juice, you know, all the names that brothers, you know, coated it with. You think, you think that's a bad situation? Wait till you see what's coming, man. Hey, a brother made a point earlier. He's like, hey, pay attention. You know, the, uh, these prices are cre creeping up. It's not just gas prices. It's not just meat prices. Everything is creeping up. Oh, because there's a scarcity now. And there's hyperinflation and the economy's shot to shit. Okay? You can't give away two years worth of free money or a year and a half or whatever, a year or whatever it was, worth of money and stimulus after stimulus and then buying up every damn thing. You can't just do those things and believe that nothing's gonna happen to the economy. Okay? That 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 this weak ass American fiat currency wasn't gonna crash. Okay? With you doing all of this. Alright? So they didn't got all these electronics and shit off, off the ship, you know what I mean, uh, off the shore that are sitting on them ships, what do you go, what do you think is gonna happen? You know? Come come Black Friday, and Black Friday's next month, about a month away, a little more, give or take. Okay? What do you think is gonna happen if people through for the past 20 years have been fighting over Jordans and fighting over iPads and iPods and, and just different electronics and TVs and toys? Tickle me elbows and shit. People fighting over this stuff. Trampling one another. 
putting their hand on it at the same time, diving. You know, I, my hand was on it first. So camping out all night, getting pneumonia. <laughs> you know, all this stuff going on, happening. What do you think gonna happen when the scarcity hits? Okay, what type of mentality do you think is gonna happen when the scarcity hits? When there's no food, we've been saying this for years. What these people gonna do when there's no food in these grocery stores? We're already seeing certain things not coming into uh, coming into the stores. Certain of your food, oh, I used to particular thing like, oh, I used to buy that rice. I used to buy that type of juice. And they don't have it no more day. They stopped buying it. My favorite beer. Certain things are just gone now. Eventually, all this shit's gonna go. Eventually, these truck drivers aren't gonna be able to continue paying and risking their life. Cause people gonna start robbing these trucks too. Okay? And then eventually, you're not even gonna be there. The military escorts, you come around in a certain proximity, they're gonna lay you down, man. All of this stuff is coming. There's gonna be tanks on the streets of America. Policing, or, 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 or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I must use the word policing. Policing the people. Okay? Getting them in, in order. All right? There's going to be more and more mandates and draconian laws. When we say draconian laws, that means a, like a dragon. Very harsh laws, man. Right now, the mandates are, 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 are like privatized. Okay? They're, they're hitting government certain things, but they're really trying to hit people. The everyday person was saying, you can't go into your favorite restaurant, your favorite grocery store, your favorite building, you know, to see a concert or whatever, to see a game or whatever. They're cutting that stuff off already. Okay? A lot of people didn't took this damn job. Now, I am all over the place. Forgive me for that, I'm, I'm all over the place. Lord willing, this is still edifying. But just to, under, to get you to understand, the Lord is not playing, man. He's he bringing apparitions. You can go to uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the 17th chapter, and read about the apparitions he brought to ancient Egypt. It was, it was one of the plagues during the time of darkness, the three days of darkness. And as I, I, I you know, when I talk to people about that, the apparitions and all of that, hey, you gotta understand, Day one, say hour seven, that is just pitch black dark. It's like, okay, it's, you know, this is crazy. Hour 14, damn, what's going on? Hour 29, what the fuck, man? What the hell's going on, man? Was that a lion that just walked past me? Or those snakes I felt crawl over my feet? You know? Is that an earthquake? All these things are going to be happening. Understand, all these things are going to be happening. And only if you have the faith of the Lord, like the scriptures say in Isaiah, the 33rd chapter, that knowledge and wisdom will be the stability of thy times. What now? The knowledge of this truth. The knowledge and belief of this truth. Of what the scriptures actually say, believing in the miracles, believing that the, that, that the Lord is bringing this type of vengeance to the earth, that this is the Lord's wrath, that we've been doing the right things by, by, by spending our time in this world, studying, read, gathering together, instead of having a good time with our weekend, we out, you know, fasting, we, 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 we holding classes on the Sabbath, devoting our time to this thing. Okay, devoting our efforts and our attention wholly to this thing. De devoting our whole mind, body, and spirit to this thing. Okay, are we perfect? No. But are we striving to be perfect? Okay, I'll leave that out as a rhetorical question. Because everybody's going to get hit. Pursuing the uh, first Peter, the fourth chapter, everybody's going to catch it, man. Even the elect is going to catch it. But it's not going to destroy the elect. Okay? But you wicked ass people out there, you gonna get caught in these things. You 
people that's on the fence that like, I'm a good person. I just want everybody. You getting destroyed. If your mind ain't according to what the the, the, the the testimony and the prophecies and, and the will of the Heavenly Father is about, the Lord says you off and he going to get you too. But I've been a good Christian all my life. He's getting you too. You're praying to other gods. He's getting you too. And this is particularly for you, you, you Israelites, you Jakes, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, particularly. But there's also the Israelite foreigners out there. Those of you that are, are scattered amongst the other nations and may even look like the other nations and have the customs of the other nations. You better get your, your mind right and get away from their, their, their false gods. Okay? And get yourself in fear and reverence of Yahweh Ba Hashim Yahweh Shai. That goes for everybody. It, me first. Okay? Get away from the mother guys oh i was in the buddha man erase all that buddha shit erase all that uh, uh 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 islam shit erase all that jesus christ jesus christos yahweh yah all that shit man get rid of all that off off your spirit repent okay for the day of the lord